Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Vincent Samisi Tole Salani is a multilingual gospel artist who prides himself in singing in Isizulu, uh, Sitonga, Sesotho, and in his mother tongue, Shiveda. Well, his songs are inspired by his upbringing and aims to give uh, healing to the young and old. In 2015, he recorded and produced an album titled Court to See Jesus, which was released last year. He joins us this morning to share more on the offering and what he is currently working on. Good morning, Vincent. Welcome to Morning Live. Yes, how are you? I'm great, thank hey. you. I mean, talk to us about this album that I've just spoken about, um, Court to See Jesus. You only recorded in 2015. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's an album that is meant to, to inspire young people and old to say there's a time, uh, as time goes by, Jesus Christ might appear at any time. So we must not just live in ignorance. We must know that at any time is going to come. Mm. Yes. Why the long wait to release the album? Um, sometimes the music, um, especially my music, it's live recording. So the logistics sometimes becomes very expensive, yeah. especially when people start to know you. Yeah. yeah. Speak to us about why the decision to go live instead of just recording a, you know, normally in a studio. It wasn't my plan. Yeah. It wasn't my plan. Then there was uh, the late uh, Emmanuel Mampogoro, an award winner. Um, what happened is when he listened to my music, we recorded like in the studio. After I was like, no, man, no. Mm. Let's take it straight to life. So that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think it's still relevant today, given that it was only in 2015? My music is always relevant mm. because um, what I do, I write songs that are about the future. So they're always relevant. Yeah. yeah. What did you work with on this project? Uh, I've worked with Manuel Mampogoro. I've worked with, with some different singers in the in Limpopo province. So that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speak to us about the decision to use different languages. I mean, I spoke in Ninja <laughs> about how you, sp you sing in, you know, Chitonga, you know, Chivenda as well. The thing is, where I'm coming from, let me speak it with my language from... It's So, Jerry Gorela Niki, Re, Onema Chwawa Nchi, Onema Zulu, Onema Venda, Onema Shona, so, and Ma Plantai. So, all these languages, they inspire you and they make you to, to know most of the languages yeah. around. Yeah. So, essentially, it's what the language, what these people speak in here. Which part of that? Uh, Musina. Musina. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's interesting. All right. So talk to us about the song songwriting process. Uh, what inspires you to start writing, or what would be happening uh, in your life at that time for you to, you know, for a song to come to you? Uh, what happens is when you look around of what is happening. Um, I mean, through the news, through what is happening, where you are staying. So that's where I get songs like. I will hear some melodies in my head, then I will start to write it down. Yeah. Yeah. What has been the reception to your music? Um, I have I have good following in Limpopo and also in Houting. So I'm, I'm so far I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the recording of this video. How was that? Um, the, take us through the entire process. <laughs> this one it was a nice one. When you are recording, when you are recording music video, you look like a fool a bit <laughs> when you are doing it because you do it time and again. Yes. I'm in June, June, yeah. yeah, no more. Like, at the end of the day, it becomes this. Actually, we recorded here in Johannesburg. Yeah. Yeah. And what did that teach you about, you know, the music industry? Because you learn different aspects about, I mean, as you get into the music industry, you realize, oh no, there's this aspect of music, then yeah. there's this part of my music as well. Yeah. Actually, when we were doing the music video, I was not sure, I didn't know that you can be here and here at the same time. <laughs> so to me, it was amazing. The power of editing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you currently working on at the moment? Um, we're working on my new album. I think it's going to come out in August. Yeah. So that's the reason why we tried to get this platform. Mm. So that we, we are, well, what I'm doing actually, I'm introducing my new album okay. through this. Yeah. All right. What is the the album? Are you at liberty to tell us about what is on this new album? Um, how many songs are we talking about? Are you going the live route again? It's it's a live route. Actually, it's been done. I'm left with overdubs. So, yeah. for with the backing vocalist. So, um. So it's just an album. It's just an album that is coming out, which is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And the name of the album? Um, not named yet. Not named yet. How yes. long <laughs> until you get a name? I mean, yeah. okay, you said August, right? Yeah, August yeah. is coming out. So I suppose yeah. you still have a bit of time. Yeah, I have, I have. And then let's just go back to your childhood in Messina and yeah. growing up. And how does music fall into the entire uh, space where you grew up? How does music make its way in there? 
What is happening? We are always in the church, like at home. We are Christians, so yeah. we are always in church. So when you see some other people, baraluka music wa ba na kuwa so like you want, you want, you want to be interested. Then you realize, oh, actually, it's also my gift. So, mm. so that's how it came up. But who said to you, no? But una little talent, do you know what I mean? Somebody must have pushed you to say, but you can take it forward. It's nice to see people singing, but whether you are able to do it or not is another thing. Somebody must have given you that encouragement. Yeah, he's my old man, Joseph Salani. He's, he's the one who has really pushed me to, to become what I am today in the music and as a person. So, mm. so that's the old man who have done this pushing. Yeah, what does he think of the album? <laughs> <laughs> he loves it, he loves it. Actually, so proud when he sees like what he's seeing right now. I believe he's watching. So he becomes very proud. Like he has raised, some, he has raised something that nobody really believed in that particular person. Then today, Ubaldilo Jeriyunga. So it becomes very great on, on his side. Mm. Yeah. What would you point out as a highlight of your career so far? Um, the music industry is not that much easy as we can think, but you have to push it's your gift. You have to push it. You you have the responsibility as a person. You push it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What's still on your to do list? What is the one thing that you say, you know, I must still do this? Apart from releasing the album, yeah. what is on your bucket list? Uh my bucket list is what I always fight with my father is to get married. So so that's what I'm fighting for this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what else is on your plate apart? We spoke to about the album. What else uh, would you still like to do? Um, I, I'm in the min mining industry, so I want to learn more about it while I'm doing music at the same time. I want to put more balancing in it and continue to, to do mining industry and grow up in the mining industry. So that's Why not what go I'm music full time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. It's yeah. not easy. <laughs> the bills have to be paid. It's not easy up until you reach that climax. So yeah. I'm not yet there in that climax yet. So uh, do you ever think you'll get to a point where music is the only thing you do? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's going to come. It's going to come. Yeah. All right, Vincent, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us. We look forward to your music. Yeah. Uh, gospel artist Vincent Semi Sitole Salani. His album is out and will be performing for us a bit later on the show. In fact, the new album is coming out in August. He refuses to tell us uh, what the, uh, the name of the album is going to be called. But the one that uh, we know about for sure is Court to See Jesus. And he's all the way uh, from uh, Musina talking to us about his uh, career journey and what that has entailed.